Remove the battery. Remove the two 9mm T8 Torx screws from near the back corners of the notebook that secure the switch cover to the base enclosure. Remove the three 3mm T8 Torx screws inside the battery bay. Remove the two 7mm T8 Torx screws marked with a keyboard icon on either side of the memory compartment that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Pull up on the outer edges of the switch cover to detach it from the base enclosure and move it away from the top edge of the keyboard. Do not remove the switch cover. Lift the top edge of the keyboard and move it toward the back of the notebook to expose the keyboard ribbon cable and the ZIF connector on the system board. Using minimal force, flip the locking bar up on the ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard. Hold the keyboard over the top cover and insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board. Push the locking bar down to lock the ZIF connector. Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the slots on the top cover and lower the keyboard into place. Place the switch cover into position on the top cover. Press along the entire length of the switch cover to snap it into place. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Ensure that all of the switch cover tabs are snapped into place by pressing along the rear edge of the battery bay. Replace the two 7mm T8 Torx screws marked with a keyboard icon on either side of the memory compartment that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Replace the three 3mm T8 Torx screws inside the battery bay. Replace the two 9mm T8 Torx screws near the back corners of the notebook that secure the switch cover to the base enclosure.